Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you are well, I hope you guys had an amazing week, a super productive week. So guys, a lot of people have been asking me in the comment section as well as on TikTok, is there Toyota Avanzas for sale, right? Is there Toyota Quantum? So basically cars that you can use to transfer people, right? So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at cars, minibuses in particular, that you can use to transfer people, right? So um, about 10% of you guys that watch the videos of female and about 90% or male right so guys if you're new please subscribe and if you get any sort of valuable information from this video give it a like and you guys want to stick to the end of this video because yeah we're gonna see what bonus car we have for today guys and i actually want to say guys before i move on um i do want to push out more content it's difficult because you know i work full time as well in the near future i am gonna you know be pushing out more content during the week let's see what mini buses we have for today cheers so the first vehicle for today they have this iona h1 and guys this is a new arrival so this car isn't listed as of yet so i don't know what year model this is and i also don't know the cost price of this vehicle but what i do know about this car or this minibus is that it has 99,000 kilometers on the clock and they also have three or four other um iona h1s as well and it range between 150,000 Rand and 300,000 Rand so if I look at the condition of this vehicle and considering it has 99,000 Ks on the clock you will probably pay more than 200,000 Rand for this vehicle so let me show you guys the interior right so obviously you have your front and rear electric windows with electric mirrors you have leather seats and guys let's just take out the key Okay, we can't take out the key because of the damn steering wheel that's locked okay so yeah okay guys so obviously these seats has to be comfortable because you use these cars for long distance cruising um it has a six-speed automatic gearbox with a aftermarket infotainment system you have a multi-function leather steering wheel and let's see how it looks at the rear so obviously this is a seven seater so you have three seats at the back you have three seats in the middle your passenger seat and your driver's seat which is eight seats in total but obviously guys they don't count the driver's seat with these vehicles and at the back you have to put your mother-in-law and if you open the damn boot you have you know enough space for you know your groceries your dogs your cats and all the other stuffies okay so one thing that i do like and i do appreciate about this it's one is that it has a door on this side as well as a door on that side and um as you guys can see you can fold the seats you know to the front you can you know move it as well so let's see how the passenger side looks okay um obviously your electric windows so nothing yeah guys nothing much to say about this vehicle the, um, but it is powered by a 2.2 liter diesel engine so i just want to show you guys the engine bay quickly so yeah guys if you don't want to put your mother-in-law at the back then yeah you can put your stepmom as well i don't know Okay, so guys. Okay, so let's see how the engine bay looks. So the engine bay looks quite small, but it is a 16 valve, and I don't know if you guys can see, but somewhere there, you know, you can see the turbocharger. But yeah, guys, um, like I said, I don't know what you know the decorator report says as this is a new arrival so yeah this is the first vehicle for today so here they have a 2018 toyota avanza and this is a car that a lot of you guys have been asking is this vehicle for sale is the avanza for sale and this is the only avanza that they have for sale at this branch um these cars sell out really quickly guys so um this particular one is listed at 119,000 rand with 264,000 kilometers on the clock it is a category b vehicle and for that reason i think it's because 
um, as stated from the DECRA report, the engine is misfiring. So there's something wrong with this engine. Uh, let me just go to this side so you guys can see properly. Okay, so this is how the rear looks. It is powered by a 1.5 liter VVT-i petrol engine. And as you guys can see, I don't know why and how you can even possibly make a window do this but yeah the window is broken so obviously the electric window i don't know about the other windows but this window is not going to work guys so you have obviously your you know the seats looks quite dirty but you have all the things that you need um like your power seating your air conditioning um so that's how the rear looks guys i don't know why the quality is so bad if i show you guys the interior but um so pretty much basic um it is a seven seater and i think we can open the boot okay guys so we have two seats at the back seats there as well um and obviously you can fold these seats to the front as well as those seats and then obviously you will have a bigger boot space so other things that they mentioned from the decra report is that the tires are smooth and as you guys can see yeah the tires are smooth um and another thing like i mentioned guys or oh, actually i want to show you guys the engine bay so i can't open the engine bay and that is also another thing that they mentioned from the decra report we can't open the engine bay because the lever is broken but yeah guys um 119,000 rand and it has 264,000 kilometers on the clock so that's the avanza so um a full disclaimer guys so all the minibuses is not parked in the best position um as you guys can see they have a lot of cars in front of the minibuses um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start with this Hyundai Staria, and then i'm gonna work my way back to the cheapest um car um minibus which is on that side so let's start with this Hyundai Staria. so this particular vehicle is one of the most unique cars that you can find on the road today um it was launched back in 2021 in thailand which is you know quite surprising and they don't build these vehicles in south africa if i'm correct guys they import these cars from south korea but um is a 2022 model and it is listed and guys sorry for the background lighting um but this vehicle is listed at 694 000 rand and it has 19,000 kilometers on the clock this is a 2.2 liter diesel um and let me know in the comment section down below if you like the look of this vehicle guys um uh, and it does come with 11 seats i can't open this vehicle guys and obviously as this is still a new vehicle this car has no mechanical issues um, it is a category A car, it can be financed obviously So yeah, that is the Hyundai Staria And just next to that, they have this 2015 Toyota Quantum And it is a 2.7 liter petrol And it is listed at 249,000 Rand with 218,000 kilometers on the clock for any other reason this is a category b car i have no idea why they don't state on the decra report that this quantum has any mechanical issues the only thing that they state is that it has the rear tires are smooth um as you can see at the front this bumper has a crack um and i don't know specifically why here's a hole in the passenger door so let me just work my way to the rear of the vehicle guys so you can see how it looks okay so this is how it looks um at the rear you will notice that there's a really bad scratch and dent on this side of the vehicle and as well as on this side right here and the bumper doesn't align as it should guys so at some point either it was taken off or this vehicle was somewhere in an accident Okay, so let me just start and show you guys how it looks on this side. Um, so obviously you have electric windows and I do like the cloth on the side of the door. Everything is plastic. This vehicle has um, leather seats. 
and an aftermarket infotainment system with air conditioning it is a five-speed manual um so let's go to this door and let's open the side damn guys okay okay so this is how it looks from the inside so yeah the seats doesn't look too bad guys um it is stone it does have a lot of wear and tear as this vehicle has a lot of mileage okay so this is how it looks guys i haven't been in a taxi since my school days guys i'm gonna open this i'm oh, gonna leave that door open let's go to this side okay so this is how the driver side looks it is a manual so you have your, obviously your three pedals plastic steering wheel and that is how the instrument cluster looks you know there's no, there's no door right here on this side so yeah guys um 218,000 k's in the clock no mechanical issues like they say on the decorative report so yeah this is the quantum and let's close this door yeah let's close the door guys this quantum just remind me of the taxi strike that south africa experienced a month ago but yeah uh next to that they have a vw combi um as you guys might know the combi comes from the flipping 70s 80s uh but yeah this is obviously the newer version it is listed at 507,000 rand with 61,000 kilometers on the clock so this is a 2 liter tdi it does have the dsd gearbox it is an automatic um so let's move to this side okay so this vehicle does look like pretty much you know new brand new um and so okay so the car is locked but yeah this is also a 11 seater vehicle um so let's go to this side so yes nothing wrong with this vehicle guys it is a category a car nothing wrong with this vehicle so obviously we can't open that door so just next to that one they have another vw combi um so this car is also locked just looking at the mirrors so pretty much stock standard and pretty much a new vehicle so the other name for the combi is the transport as you guys can see right here okay okay so just next to that like i said they have this hyundai um it's one this is a 2013 model and this car is powered by a 2.5 liter diesel engine and it is a six-speed automatic so this vehicle is listed at like I said, 155 k's, um, 218,000 kilometers on the clock. Okay, so at the front, you guys will notice that the bumper, I don't know if this bumper was resprayed. And it doesn't, you know, it wasn't done correctly. So I can see that this bumper wasn't buffed out, you know. So let's see how this vehicle looks from the inside okay so this car is locked so guys the paint is not in the best state this car yeah this car is basically this is how it looks on the top so one thing that they state from the decorator report about this hyundai h1 is that the exhaust is leaking and all the tires are smooth and just next to that one they have another 2013 hyundai h1 and this car is also powered by a 2.5 liter diesel engine um it is listed at 149,000 rand with 237,000 kilometers on the clock so this is a commercial vehicle and you know there's no rear passenger seats so if we go to the rear of this vehicle you guys will notice that it has a little tow bar at the back but what you can see is that this one has rear windows this one doesn't have windows and 
this particular car is not or van is not on the website as of yet so we don't know what's wrong with this car guys next to that one they have another i said they have two for sale but obviously as you guys can see they have more than two for sale so um let's see what your model this is okay so this is a 2018 model so 300,000 rand 305,000 rand with 167,000 kilometers on the clock so first things first gents and ladies it has a bull bar as you guys can see right there the bonnet has a lot of tips guys and i mean this vehicle isn't even that old so to me in my personal view this car wasn't taken care of very well the paint so this bumper looks cream and the bonnet looks white so yeah something is off with this vehicle so let's you know see how this vehicle looks from the rear okay as you guys can see the rear is pretty much solid so we can't open this vehicle so the only thing that they state from the decor report is that the tires are smooth so if we can just check that so that you can you guys can see with your own eyes how smooth the tires are okay um next to the iona it's one they have this kia grand sedona and this vehicle guys yo I have to say that I do like the design of this uh, Kia Grand Sedona. So the Grand Sedona was launched back in 2015 and it is one of the best family vehicles that you can buy on the market currently today in South Africa. So it is listed at 426,000 Rand or 61,000 kilometers on the clock. No mechanical issues. This car is pretty much a get in and go. Um, obviously you have, you know, front parking sensors as well as rear parking sensors and i think this vehicle has 17 inch wheels so yeah these are 18 inch wheels um yeah guys basically all these cars are gonna be locked so this is how it looks at the rear okay um let's see how it looks inside quickly okay oh okay so this vehicle is open so you have automatic front electric windows as well as automatic rear electric windows you have electric mirrors um full leather seats and i do like the interior guys it is an automatic you have a multi-function leather steering wheel and i don't think we can open the rear door oh okay guys just excuse me because i've never been in these type of vehicles before so if we can count one two three one two, three six seven eight so basically it is a, a seven seat um vehicle but you have full leather seats and it's obviously quite spacious guys but yeah um the oh shit, guys let me let me close the dam guys i don't know how to close the damn door damn how do we close the door Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. Guys, don't wanna break the cars. By the way, guys, I don't wanna break the cars, but um, let me show you guys the engine bay. Okay. I hope I can. I know how to open the engine bay. Okay. So this is a 2.2 liter diesel and yeah as you guys can see it is powered by a 16 valve diesel engine you can see the turbocharger there at the back guys a little turbocharger okay so just after the um kia grand sedona they have this mercedes-benz viano right so this is not a veto it's the viano and you can guys can see there's another mercedes but that's the veto and that's the viano so the difference between the two is that the mercedes veto refers to the commercial vehicle and the viano is basically a big 
MPV and an MPV is a multi-purpose vehicle right so it's a family vehicle so this car is listed at 875,000 rand with 88,000 kilometers on the clock and it is powered by a 2.2 liter diesel Viano ama piano it sounds like you know the ama piano flipping word Okay, let's go to the rear. So, yeah, it does have tow bar. All the H1s has a tow bar. As you guys can see, the Scrans Donut doesn't have a tow bar. I think this vehicle is also locked. Yeah, it is locked. But this particular car is a seven seater, guys. That's the Viano. And then they have a 2019 Mercedes Vito. It is powered by a 2.2 liter diesel engine so let's go to this side of this vehicle it does have a tow bar which is quite nice and helpful okay i think this car is also locked okay so this particular car also has no mechanical issues according to the decor report um, and it is a category A vehicle. Do want to give Gustavo underscore R is a shout out for supporting the channel. Um, thank you, bro. And I know you were also one of the people that requested this video. So shout out to you, bro, for supporting the channel. I appreciate it. Thanks. So guys, the second bonus vehicle on this channel, they have a 2020 VW Caravel. So at the moment, this car is not for sale as all the other vehicles that they have here is not for sale. Um, but this is a 2020 uh, model. It is a four motion and it basically means that this vehicle is powered by a, I think it's a 2.2 liter diesel, but it has a four wheel drive train. So that's the, you know, why this is a four motion. Um, but yeah, guys, this thing looks pretty solid and just look here guys here you have your front camera inside the vw beds and this car is going for just under a million so yeah guys vw did replace this vehicle with a newer caravel so gents this is the bonus vehicle for today I can't open this car um it is locked so yeah guys um bonus vehicle for today um yeah i do like the color contrast in this vehicle the red and the white so yeah guys bonus vehicle for today so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope it was helpful and if it was helpful guys give it a like and if you're new please subscribe and like i said guys i am gonna push out more content during the week um that's my goal i'm hoping to you know um do this full time um and this guy's actually making a video of me at the back you guys can see but anyway um so let me know in the comment section down below what other content you guys want to see and maybe if you should visit another dealer and um yeah guys let me know in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys on the next video cheers